Over the past two months, let's just say I've made my fair share of notebooks. I'm Erin from Nubby Notes, and today I'll be showing you all the notebooks that I made in the months of May and June. If you're a bookbinder like me, maybe these notebooks can serve as some inspiration for future bookbinding projects. And as we go through each notebook, let me know down in the comments if there are any projects that you'd like to see a tutorial video on. With that, we'll start with all the notebooks made back in May. I didn't have much time to bookbind while I was in my graduate program, so these first couple of projects were a way to ease myself back into bookbinding. They're really simple, but I like how they turned out. This notebook is bound with wax thread and uses both the Coptic stitch and the French link stitch. And these next notebooks were bound in a similar way with wax thread and chipboard for the covers. The binding technique I used here is Coptic stitch. When I bound these notebooks, I was working on trying to make the Coptic stitch look as clean as possible. And I'd say as we go through all the other notebooks, you'll see the progress of my Coptic stitch over time. So this next notebook is another combination of Coptic stitch and French link stitch. But it's a soft cover, so I used two pieces of yellow cardstock for the covers instead of chipboard like the last projects. For this next project, I did a little bit of buttonhole stitch binding, and the covers are made from army green cardstock, and the details were painted on with acrylic paints. I was inspired by a video by Gumi's, sorry for the pronunciation, on YouTube to make this notebook. I'll put a link to the video that I was inspired by in the description and up in the cards. And here's another Coptic stitch project. I was going through my scrap pages for um, this notebook and I found these really cool metallic, like rose goldy colored um, papers that I've just been hoarding. So I decided to turn that into a notebook because I thought it looked really cool. And for this next notebook, I was playing around a bit with colors. This notebook here uses Coptic stitch, and I was calling them cat whiskers, but I think they're a chain link variation. And because I don't like things to go to waste, the covers are recycled from a thank you note from Shopsoki. This next notebook is one of my first attempts at weaving. On Instagram, I had always seen people including weaving to their bookbinding projects, so I thought I'd give it a try. I bought some pins from BU Draws, and she threw in these adorable Halloween Pokemon cardstock pieces, so I decided to use those for the covers. For this next notebook, I really wanted to use black paper for the insides. The stitching here is more of the French link stitch and that other cat whisker link stitch, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> if you're a bookbinder and you know what the actual name of that stitch is called, please let me know down in the comments. These next notebooks I made at the same time, and they ended up looking like a set. This first notebook was part of a challenge by Coley Ravioli. It was their Mythical May challenge, and the prompt was Will-O-Wisp. The binding here is French link and Coptic stitch, with a bit of blue accents added to the French link stitch to match the Will-O-Wisp that I painted on the front. And I think this next notebook was my first attempt at a Draw This In Your Style notebook. This really cute ghost piece was done by Brick Art Brack on Instagram. The binding for this notebook is more of that cat whisker link stitch and Coptic stitch. 
looking back at the footage now, um, the binding looks a little bit like a spider and it's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> I got into figurine collecting a while back and I ended up using these mystery boxes to turn into notebooks. And the binding is more of that French link stitch, Coptic stitch, and that cat whisker stitch. These boxes come from the Pop Mart and the Momiji collaboration and the box designs were just too cute to throw away. So I wanted these notebooks to look like a set, but not look exactly alike. So for this next notebook, I used a different color thread and I tried a different binding method. I used weaving and French link stitch. So two things for this next notebook. I have an addiction to hideaway melon and I also don't like throwing things away. <laughs> so the result ended up um, being me using their tissue paper for the cover of this notebook. For the binding, this is all Coptic stitch, but I guess I changed the shape of it to be kind of like a squiggly Coptic stitch. And then to try to break up the color, I used some pink wax thread as X's for accents. A while ago, I was gifted some candles and the box they came in had this really pretty floral design. So uh, again, I didn't want to waste it. So I turned that into a notebook. The binding is Coptic stitch with some geometric hearts sewn into the covers. Looking back at it, I kind of wish that I used a different color thread because you can barely see the hearts um, when put up against the floral design. The pages are made from craft wrapping paper. So they, didn't really flatten um, the way that I had liked. So I added a black elastic to hold it all together. This next notebook is one of the larger notebooks that I made. The cover of this notebook is made from a recycled thank you note from Love Soup's Patreon. And for the binding, I did some more weaving and Coptic stitch. This one was inspired by a long stitch weaving tutorial that I found on YouTube. I'll put that video in the description box and up in the cards. This next notebook is one of my favorites. It was another draw this in your style meets book binding challenge. And the original piece was from OK Yay on Instagram. For the binding, I bound the notebook first with Coptic stitch, and then I went back in with red and green thread for more of those cat whisker stitches. I love the idea of combining cross stitch and book binding, so that's what I did for this project. The binding is French link stitch, and if you follow me on Instagram, it probably looks familiar from one of the reels that I made. One of the downsides is that since it doesn't really have a whole lot of Coptic stitch to support it, it's pretty flimsy. Unfortunately, to cover the back side of the cross stitch, I glued together two chipboard pieces and they ended up warping. If you're interested, I found the cross stitch pattern for free online and I'll link that in the description box below. If you've watched my other videos, this notebook will probably look familiar. This is my Heartstopper notebook and Nick and Charlie were copied in using Sharpie pen and paint pens. I also used some watercolor paint for the rainbow splotches in the background. For the binding, I followed a C-Lemon tutorial 
for single stitch book binding, and I will put that tutorial inside of the description and up in the cards. Now, I might have gotten the order mixed up on some of these notebooks, but here are the notebooks that I made in June-ish, maybe also including some notebooks from May. I really love this first notebook. I'm pretty sure that the binding that I used here is called a double chain stitch, but please correct me in the comments below. I have this punch that makes um, paper kind of look like lace, so I kind of went with it and, and used it along the sides of the paper. I also added a little bear on the front of the cover, and for the sides of the binding are just some more chain stitches. And here's another Draw This In Your Style notebook. This one is done by Niam Smith Art. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. I painted the cover with some acrylic paints and color pencils, and then finished it off with some Mod Podge to seal it all together. On the front and the back are some small raindrops that are supposed to look like they're inside of clouds. These notebook covers also ended up warping a bit. For the binding, I used a variation of Japanese stab binding, and I added a ribbon for the closure. This next one was a really fun mini notebook project. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably recognize this notebook from one of the reels that I posted. I used a multicolor wax thread for the binding, and the stitching that I used is Coptic stitch here. The heart in the center is made with red wax thread, and it's kind of my play on a chain stitch. And here's some more mini notebooks. These are extra colorful, and I was trying to play around with uh, more of those link stitch kind of cat whisker stitches here. These are two variations of those cat whisker stitches. One of them looks more like a butterfly to me, and then the other one is kind of just more bunching all the threads together. This one is a notebook that I made from the backing cards of enamel pins. And the stitching I use here is, again, more Coptic stitch and French link stitch, but in fun shapes. I was gifted some enamel pins from when the Hello Kitty Cafe came to Michigan, and then I just used the cards to make the notebook. And this is the last Draw This In Your Style notebook that I made within the last two months. The binding here is more Coptic stitch, um, with me playing around with making knots in the stitching and then also those kind of arrow looking um, yellow pieces, and then more playing around with chain stitches to make those stars. The original piece is by Abby Kate on Instagram. I bought this mini notebook from Jasupi and it came with these really cute cardstock pieces, so I used that for the cover of this notebook. The binding is more Coptic stitch, French link stitch, and those geometric hearts on the covers. I wanted to do something special on Instagram when I hit 500 followers, so I made this notebook. Um, the signatures of this notebook are cut out from my Cricut, and I bound the notebook using double Coptic stitch and that multicolored wax thread from earlier. Because the stations were so close together, I ended up ripping through a couple of the signatures, but it surprisingly held up okay. <laughs> I'm really surprised that I was even able to make a notebook like this. <laughs> These next notebooks were more practice with French link stitch and Coptic stitch. I had seen on Instagram people using ribbons to kind of put underneath French link stitch. So I tried two different variations with one having the ribbon outside of the cover, like on the outside of the cover, um, and then the other having it kind of inside. Next time I might use a different colored ribbon just so that it doesn't blend in with the other signatures in the background. 
you're noticing a theme so far in all of the notebooks that I've made in the last two months, I gravitate more towards Coptic stitch, French link stitch, and that cat whiskery stitch. And since these notebooks were just practice, I didn't really finish up the inside, so they look a little, a little funny. <laughs> Here's the last notebook I have for us today. This one is a star notebook that I made with my Cricut. Um, I use my Cricut to cut out the star signatures and then I just bound it together with some Coptic stitch. I think I used around 20 signatures overall so that I could make a whole star shape. When you let go of the notebook, it kind of just pops into that star form. And if you follow me on Instagram, I made a reel of that as well. Those are all of the notebooks that I made in the last two months. Please let me know down in the comments which notebook was your favorite, or if you'd like to see any tutorials of any of the notebooks that I've shown today. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.